How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. I wanted to re-record my intro because my banners finally came in and it looks a lot cleaner in here, a lot better to record in front of. Before I had the puzzles, kind of like that wall right there with all the puzzles and everything and there was even right here there was a whiteboard with a bunch of penises drawn all over it so this is a lot better of a look and a lot more professional and just cleaning up the whole garage getting a lot more space in here is a lot better. Today is great because we got new wheels for the Supra, the T56 is installed and I got to try out filming like a cinematic style video for the wheels. I'm not very good at it. Don't be rude in the comments. It was just my first time trying it just to show off the new wheels. So go easy on me. But today we are replacing my old ESR RF2s right here in that beautiful mag blue with some new ESRs that are right there on the car. But we will get to the reveal in a minute. We're going to go back in time to when I just picked them up. Like I said, I was re-recording the intro, so everything that's done with the video has already been done. I already filmed everything. I just wanted to re-record the intro. So, let's go back in time. Today is a pretty good video. We got some new wheels for the Supra. I just picked them up. I've been in traffic for about an hour, so I just want to toss them on already. But let me show you guys the old wheels, and then we will compare them to the new wheels. And I want you guys to decide which ones you like more. I'm a little bit biased because I love the color blue, and I think these blue ones pop, but... We'll see if these new wheels can win me over. Let me show you guys what we got. So right now we have ESR's RF2s, I believe that's what they're called. And they are in a custom mag blue finish coated in some nice brake dust. So they are nice and dirty. They look good right now. Tires are a little bit dirty, a little bit bald too. So we got some new meat. Let me show you guys the new wheels. All right, guys, here we go. These are the new ESR CS8s, and they are in a matte bronze finish. And I think the bronze, which was my first choice of color on the Supra, I think the bronze is going to look really good. These have a bit of a concave, and we have them wrapped in Toyo R ARRs, so they are going to hook like a bitch. Let me go ahead and pull them out of the van, get them down on the floor, wipe them down really quick so we can get a better look at them because they look dirty right now. They just installed the tires. I literally just came back. So let me go ahead and pull them out. All right, guys, we're in the garage now. I got them all wiped off and they are looking minty fresh. I mean, they are just looking nice and satin bronze. They, they look really good, except this one already has damage. It's not from ESR, you could tell because it's on the tire itself so whoever mounted this scratched the shit out of it so my wheels are already scratched i picked up brand new wheels today and they are damaged and it's not even like a baby scratch either like let me get the light up in here like if we look like here we come on focus it's a pretty gnarly like four to five inch scratch from there all the way over and it, it just it doesn't look good at all so Luckily, the wheels were free 99, so I don't have to worry about anything really. I didn't spend a dime on them, just the tires, but it is kind of upsetting that I have to cruise around now with damaged wheels because some guy at the tire shop messed up. And I just, they're brand new, man. Like, come on, man. I'm wiping them down with some wax, and it's just, it's fucking all scratched up. I'm gonna see if maybe I could take some acetone to it or something and make it look a little bit better because it's, it's, it's an eyesore. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm tripping over here. I clean up my garage to make it more roomy, and I'm tripping, but everything else looks great. Like the brand new one right here that isn't damaged. It looks fucking flawless. I love the matte finish of it. It just, it shines and it sheens in all the right places. It's got some nice contrast in and out of the light. Like it just pops. And I even like the little ESR little decal right here. That's like, you know, etched in it, That's pretty sick right there. My old wheels didn't have that. It's just, why is that one damaged, man? I can never win. It also has a nice little concave. If you get the 10 and a half inches, it's even more concave. This one's got a slight little concave to it. Nothing too crazy, but it is is great looking. I already have the fronts on. I'm not going to show them to you yet. I want to get the rears on and make sure that everything clears. These actually clear the Supra twin turbo brakes a lot better. I don't have to run a spacer anymore, which is great. But I, I love how they look so far. It's 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 so far it's it's looking pretty good, except for that scratch. So let me go ahead and get some paint remover or paint thinner and let's see what we can do. I hit it really quick with some paint thinner and it looks a bit better, but it it still looks like I just don't know how to drive. And coming from a Mustang, that's not what you want your Super to look like. So we're gonna go ahead and toss them on, see how the fitment is. These are really good fitment wise. It does need to come out a little bit, and I'm hoping that the thicker tire will make up for that. This R Triple Eight is just fucking meat. So let me go ahead and toss those on, and we'll see what's up. All right, guys, here's both of them side by side. We have the RF2s right here, my old wheels. You can tell because they're blue. 
and you can tell these are different because they're bronze so these are the new ones going on and these are the cs8s and they look great compared you guys got to tell me in the comments which ones do you like more would you rock the rf2s or the cs8s we will know for sure when i get them on the car i already got one on peekaboo right there i ain't gonna show you guys too much i already got one on that's the last wheel that's the last piece of the puzzle let's toss it on and let's make up our mind so here is the plan i got them on the car behind me i don't want to reveal them too much we're gonna do the full reveal tomorrow it'll still be in the same video but it'll just be tomorrow for me i want to wash the car i want to make it look perfect before i do my little reveal i don't want to show it off in this ass daylight so we're going to wait till tomorrow i'm going to get the car nice and clean and then i will show you guys how they look they look good i'm, I'm happy with them might need to adjust the ride height a little bit just because of the thinner sidewall but overall i think they look pretty darn good so i'll see you guys tomorrow guys welcome back to the present and yes these wheels are beautiful they are growing on me a lot at first i'm not gonna lie i like the mag blue a little bit better but the bronze on these just looks so good now and the fitment is a lot better than when i first put them on when i first put them on it was sitting a little bit higher and it had a bit of wheel gap now I mean, I could barely get my fingers in there. It's in a lot more flush. And the bronze is just growing on me a lot. It looks a lot more JDM and just a lot cleaner in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. I love the mag blue wheels right there. I love those. They're super lightweight. They're great looking and they're custom, which is amazing. So no one else has them. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and keep the bronze CS8s on. They, they just look great. I mean, they just, I don't know. I just, there's something about them. They just look great. And with my ideas for how I want to wrap the car and change the color with it, these wheels right here, I think are going to make it look absolutely beautiful. And I mean, oh, the brakes behind there too. Oh, it just looks so nice. So we'll have to see because I really do like the RF2s right here. Like I said, they're super lightweight. You can easily just pick them up and just lift them. I mean, they are super lightweight. If you're looking for performance wheels or just clean looking wheels, go to ESR. They make great wheels and they have all different styles. They have more popular reps like TE37 reps and stuff like that. Or they even have a forged line like these. And then they also have the new CS8s right here, which just, they just pop. I mean, whatever your car is, these CS8s right here, I think they're going to look good on majority of cars. And they have a lot of different colors. These are the matte bronze, which just pop. Matte bronze and white look great. Bronze and blue also looks amazing too, but these, these are fucking fly. I don't know if yesterday I got a good image or a good recording of the concave of them. They have a real nice mild concave. They have a more crazy concave if you go with a 10.5 or a crazier offset. Mine in the rear is just a mild concave, and then up front is even lighter. It's just a little bit of a concave, but still enough to make it pop. I'll put a link for the CS8s down in the description down below. Same with a link for ESR's website. Go check them out. They have a lot of great wheels, like I said before. If you're on a budget, they have wheels for you. If you want to get some crazy expensive three-piece wheels, they have wheels for you. A lot of different styles, so there's definitely a little bit of something for everyone. Anyways, guys, I'll give you a quick couple updates really quick. The Drift Stang Project WAP is in the shop right now. Rob and I pulled the motor, and he fabbed up and mounted the new motor. I'll throw in the clips right here. It is coming along swimmingly, and I am very excited for that. 2J Mustang, I mean, and it's going to be a drift car. Oh, I'm super excited for that. T56 is in this car right here. My buddy Brian and I finally put the T56 in this car. We did it ourselves in the garage. In this garage, thankfully I have a lot of room now, so that's great. Wasn't that bad of an install. The Grandis Racing Kit is beautiful and makes installation super easy. The three valve goes into the shop this week to get the Coyote Swap. I am fucking stoked for that. I cannot wait for that. So I hope you guys are excited to see a lot more Mexico racing because once I get that back, I'm gonna go back out there 
and gap everybody but yeah hopefully you guys are excited for all the builds i am if you are hit subscribe let me know down in the comments which build is your favorite and let me know what you think about the cs8s like i said i love them i think they're great they've they've grown on me a lot the mag blue is beautiful but i think for what color i want to wrap this car it's it's not going to work with it so those are going to have to go off to the side for now but the cs8s are beautiful i don't know maybe i'll sell these maybe i will so if you're in socal and you want my old wheels maybe i'll sell them we'll have to see but anyway guys that's going to do it for this video so until next video peace